ask questions. Yeah, yeah, I ask questions and you give me your okay. opinions. We are in Cherry Creek. We just came from Marg's Taco Bistro, which was some delightful white people tacos, <laughs> next to the gaming store that looks like a castle. And it it's chest. not at all nerdy. Um, and we, many of us, had a giant plate of tacos and split them all. And let's see, Colin came later and had two tacos. And Kyle and Jen came later and had some tacos. So let's discuss the tacos that we had. Oh, look, it's Lisa and Lauren. So who wants to start about their tacos? Colin, why don't you start? Because you only had the two. With pleasure. So I had a couple of very plain uh, steak and cheese tacos on a soft corn tortilla, which is my favorite. I like this dish particularly because it's a good way to evaluate any new Mexican restaurant. It's sort of like the Kung Pao chicken equivalent in a Chinese restaurant. And I was impressed. The steak uh, had a nice tenderness to it. It was well seasoned. There was clearly some red pepper going on there. The cheese itself was nice and fresh. It was a combination of both a cheddar and uh, probably a white Colby. And um, the taco, uh, the tortilla itself, the soft corn tortilla, was nicely well handled. I don't know if it was made in-house or not, but the whole package was delicious. Excellent. Thank you. Jen and Kyle, what kind of tacos did you get? We had the banh mi taco, the caprese taco, but without tomatoes, um, the lamb, but it was like Greek-style lamb taco, the tandoori taco. <laughs> There was oh, there was another pork. All oh, something. The Korean pork. Oh, there was, there was the Korean pork, and there was another pork one too. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which one was your favorite out of all of the ones that you had? The tandoori. Why? It had the most flavor to it. The rest were interesting, but not too flavorful. I found it felt like having eaten so frequently at Pinche Tacos that there was something yeah. missing from their taco experience. I like the lamb. With the tzatziki on it, um, and cucumber, and that was nice. And, like, yeah, there's so many places that do good, like, traditional tacos in town. Um, that a place like this, they, what they can do is something non-traditional. So the doing, like, the going around the world with tacos <laughs> was worked well. I liked I liked just the, so trying something new if it because it wasn't going to be the best taco. What did you have for drinks? I had a spicy cucumber drink that had jalapeno infused tequila, um, the Bloody Mary rim stuff, and I don't remember what else. <laughs> hey, it's better than what the stuff is called at my work. Um, <laughs> and then um, and cucumbers in it. That was quite nice. Um, and then I had a pomegranate drink that had jalapeno tequila in it and muddled jalapenos and they went a little bit heavy on the jalapeno the sprite was unnecessary i felt and that kyle could make that drink better kyle's got some talents would you recommend this place to friends uh somebody who like if someone was looking for a place to eat in cherry creek this would make the list i would not recommend it it's it was not worth cherry creek I am still hungry. <laughs> well, you also didn't eat 900 tacos. <laughs> right. But I spent a lot of money here. That is true. All right. And now, the gang. Yay. We Do you want to get my notebook and look at the tacos we got? Sure. Or do you want to wing it? Okay. Well, I remember what I ate. Okay. And it was delicious. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start with drinks first because we, uh, like, we didn't get a whole lot of drinks. So... Um, your drink, Lauren, was particularly nice. My drink was amazing. It was a watermelon mint margarita. Um, it was so amazing that I got two. <laughs> and um, it was really tasty. It was really nice. It was hot to me when we got here. So um, it was really refreshing and satisfying and everything you want in a watermelon mint drink. Excellent. Um, I had the strawberry basil margarita, which I think Jess also had. We both liked it. It was good. It was refreshing. Um, it wasn't. I didn't think it was overly sweet. It was. It was. It was for me. It was right on the edge of where it would be too sweet, but it, it pulled it off. Like, yeah, I totally agree. It had a good amount of strawberry, and you could still taste all of the things. And yeah, I, it, I think was if it was delicious. Any sweeter, it would have been too sweet, but it was just right like on the edge for me. Um, but I liked it. And then I also had a house margarita just because they were only like. They were discounted because it was happy hour. It was three to um, six happy hour, yeah, which I so like. So I, uh, yeah. I had a house margarita as my second drink instead of the other one, just for cost reasons. And their house margarita was pretty solid. One of the things I, I, I commented on when we first got it 
was that for a place like this, I usually expect a $7 drink to come in a lowball glass in a place like Cherry Creek. But they were ser- their margaritas were all served in pint glasses, so they were really healthy portions, yeah. um, which I appreciate as someone who likes to drink a lot. Uh, <laughs> so that, that made, that, that made the, pres- the price tag a lot more tolerable to me, yeah. was that it was a really hefty portion. Steve, what did you drink? Water. Oh. Was it How was the water? How was the water? Clean, cold. Perfect. Actually, actually I did water. like, so they serve water in tequila bottles, mm-hmm. Yeah, which, um, cool. which was nice just because I drink a lot of water and it was really nice to have. I like I like places that do like the bottles of water on the table. To be and it meant our server could really focus on like serving instead of running back and forth to get me more water because I also drink a lot of water. All right. So the tacos we had, um, the Vindaloo. I thought it was good. It was spicy. Um, it was. I a, liked it. Oh god, it had really. But it, it was spicy, but it had that really good, good heat, good flavor with the spice. Uh, Jess, you- <laughs> I just thought it was funny. <laughs> no, it was classic. <laughs> they ran into the wizard's chest, and so I wanted to just acknowledge that. Jess, what did you think of the vindaloo? I agree with you 100 percent about the vindaloo. It was very classic. Very like. Whatever. And also, I wanted to agree with what Kyle was saying, which was I liked that there were lots of different nationalities in the tacos, and yes. that like it sort of made it interesting, even if they weren't like epically. Sorry, there was a blizzard. Sorry, <laughs> pull it together. Pull it together. Okay, the Caprese. I think I would be the really number liked it. one. That yeah, was my favorite high. Taco. it was really good. What did you like best about the Caprese? It had the it had the perfect vinegar flavor, even though it still had chicken on it, which none of us were expecting because yes. even not though it was the first ingredient it was listed, listed on the menu, we just didn't read the menu. <laughs> because, this was definitely an RTFM moment for us. Yes, <laughs> but it, like none of us were expecting it. Still was delicious. It had they really hit it with the vinegar taste without being too overpowering. And the basil too. The, the basil, basil was yeah, fresh yeah. Really and really tasty. Yeah, and the just, mozzarella was also. Really even though it was just shredded mozzarella, it it felt good. It didn't feel like fake waxy really, mozzarella that they have. They really managed to do like a true fusion to me. Like they mm-hmm. caught the real flavor profile yes. that you wanted of a caprese, put it in a taco form. It was still a was taco. Yeah, yeah. Like it was. I think it was the best for that reason. Like it really fused the two things together very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, the bon mi, um, I liked it. I thought it was. I, I to be okay. To be fair, I've never actually had bon mi. <laughs> um, like an, an actual Vietnamese sandwich. So that is what's coloring. That's what's coloring my opinion. Um, I liked it though. I liked the shredded pork. I liked the crispiness of the vegetables. I liked the juiciness of it. I thought it was a lot of fun, and it was definitely one of my top favorite tacos. Anybody else want to comment? I didn't have, I didn't have it. I I. What did you say about the banh mi? I don't remember. Um. Oh, it. Uh... It had the flavor combinations that I love in banh mi, but I thought the meat wasn't to banh mi standards. I had the going. texture of it. I, think I, I I wanted more. The thing I love about banh mi's is their crunchy crispiness, and I didn't get that out of the taco. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Uh, so that's that was my I issue with it. Try the banh mi but, taco, but as someone who's had actual banh mi, right. I would say I could see that being missing and being a problem. But the flavor was okay. I just missed the crispiness and the like fresh, all of the like fresh vegetable kind of uh-huh. yeah, yumminess. The tempura shrimp. So for me, that was actually my low point. Like I really liked everything about it and separately. Like the shrimp was really well done. It was light and fluffy, but like. It kind of had like no flavor. Like they really needed a tempura shrimp in that style. Usually has some kind of really nice thick sauce on it, and it was supposed to be a sriracha sauce, but it was just like plain sriracha. It was very little on there. Like it just it needed. Yeah, exactly. Like I only saw it. It was it was so light, and it just needed more. Like it was very. Yeah, I thought it tasted very good, but it wasn't shrimp enough for me. Yeah, it was, it was just really plain. It was really tasty, but it was bland. Yeah. It was it was like they forgot to put the sauce on. Mm-hmm. The club taco. The club taco was my favorite, but that might just be because I had bacon. But it was really <laughs> nice. It had, it had like a, a kind of Chipotle ranch style dressing. I don't know if that's what it was. Which but is good, yeah. It was a little bit spicy. It had the guacamole um, and then the bacon. And I think it also had chicken on it. And it was um, it was really good. It was it was a satisfying taco. You could have just one and be like pretty okay if you weren't starving when you got here. And um, I really liked it. 
the Philly cheesesteak taco was Steve's and he housed that. Hey, so yeah. what did you think? Uh, it was good. The, 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 uh, You'll have to say that again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the meat was <laughs> you can edit that out or not you know yeah. um, the, the Philly steak taco was good the meat was cooked in a way that reminded me of the Philly cheese steak um, it had all the right toppings um, onions, peppers um, cheese was also very good although we could have used a little more what kind of cheese was it? was it like the I think it was provolone cheese? okay I got it with steak. It was a steak taco. I thought it was really bland in comparison, but Lisa got more. I really liked it. Yeah, Lisa I got really more liked the it too. guacamole. So I must have missed something. Um, so the guacamole on it was so good that it made me be like, man, we should just get a side of guacamole, which is not something I think on a taco tour because it's like we're trying to stick to tacos. Exactly. And I really had to restrain myself from just ordering some guacamole because it was so good. So I, for me, the bite that I got, it was pretty heavy on the guacamole and it came together really well. But I don't know if I was getting most of my flavor from there. Now the meat to me was good. It wasn't chewy. It was yeah. Nice, it was cooked you know. really well, and I thought the seasoning was nice. But I must have missed all the good parts of it. <laughs> the mahi mahi taco. I had the mahi mahi, and it was. Uh, I don't know that I've ever actually had mahi mahi before, so I'm not <laughs> like a great judge on that. Um, Recovery vegetarian. But yeah, but it, I thought it was tasty. It was a little bit on the spicy side for me, but I'm a chicken spicy girl, so. Because mahi mahi is their very spicy fish. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Spiciest of the fish. I, I liked it. I thought it was but really But it was well tasty. Cooked. Yeah, like it, it was and, really good quality mahi mahi. Like, yeah. It was nice taco. And good. despite being spicy, it had pineapple and apple on it, which was really nice like to balance out yeah. the spiciness okay. that was going on. So it was, I, th I thought it was a really well made fish taco. Did you have it, Steve? I did. What did you think? Um, it was good. It was the kind of spicy that kind of sneaks up on you and lingers a while. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was very good flavor. And then finally, the menonita, which all we focused on was it had fried cheese and vegetables. And in comparison, it seems like we were all kind of disappointed with it. I liked it, but no one else seemed to. Um, I think, to be honestly, I don't know if it was an expectation issue because it was exactly what I expected it to taste like. Um, but I think it was going for more of that like traditional um, like um, Native American sort of base as opposed to a lot of the other flavors. So it had like a corn and it was like more of those really um, savory, less powerful flavors in it. But the cheese was like a big chunk of cheese. Like, for yeah. I think actually my, despite it having a lot of cheese, my letdown was the cheese because it wasn't yeah. like, it was, it was clearly supposed to be the main part of the taco. And while I liked the corn and beans, like they were well seasoned and well cooked and everything, the cheese was kind of bland yeah. and I would have wanted like a powerful cheese. And I don't know what that would be because and I didn't think I'm not it was a chef. Enough. Honestly. But yeah, it was See, just melted. Was the, kind of, the cheese was what I was expecting it to be, so I don't know if it's something that I've had before that just made me think that that was it. But yeah, I mean, it was. I it can was see good. how it, it was definitely not one of the best ones there, and I can see it simply depending on which. One. It was a satisfactory vegetarian option. Which is important if you're a vegetarian. Exactly. Yes. Wait, and Steve also had the Korean one. What did you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, um, it was good. It, it was. Uh, I, there was sriracha on it, but I don't think it was the actual like sriracha brand sriracha. Um, but it was good. Big lips tingle. It was uh, yeah. thoroughly Korean. Excellent. Um, I would just like to say that even though we had you know low expectations coming from Agave, <laughs> the service was really spot on, phenomenal. Yeah. We had three people join later than the main group, and we got chairs almost immediately. She didn't complain. I overheard her. Um, recommend a change in a cocktail to Jen, saying, oh, actually, this kind isn't that great. You should try this one instead. It's a better combination. She did that with us with the taco, too. Oh, she yeah. she was like, that's not that's not one you want, really. Yeah. So it was really nice that she was, like, honest, yeah. and she gave us yeah. tasty things. She and was phenomenal. phenomenal. And patio. she was spot on, too. Half Beautiful patio. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there were some dogs, so it's relatively dog-friendly as far as yeah. Yeah. Cherry Creek. It's Cherry Creek. It's Cherry Creek, so if you're outside, it's pretty dog-friendly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, obviously don't bring your dog inside. That's best. I wouldn't come here at a really crowded time with your dog no, because no. you have to sit near the edge of the patio. They have to be off, off of the patio, but the way it's set up, they can still be, oh, sorry, <laughs> they can still be pretty close to you. Um, so, and it was, yeah. all the dogs were very well behaved, yeah. which I appreciated. Yeah. So now we're heading over to Mezcal and it's chilly, so we're going to sign off.
Thanks. Wave. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So I have to go home.